So we've played Great Acragas, we've played Cursed Paphlagonia, but there's another faction that could be considered one of the worst and of course hardest in the game. I'm talking about the hopelessly located nation of Priene, stuck between the Ptolemies and Seleucids, all alone on the Anatolian coast with few routes for expansion. Can we survive as this hopeless start and maybe become the only faction with an owl in their icon? Stay tuned to find out. Once again, thanks to Ahmedabad for this suggestion, and if we reach 100 likes on this video, we will continue this series going forward, and if you join as a member on the channel guys, you will gain access to these saves to see if you could do better in this situation. But without further ado guys, Enjoy my pain. So here we are as Prine guys, playing on very hard, very hard, and of course, extreme mode, yes. <laughs> you guys just like seeing me suffer, don't you? Admit it! Admit it you like seeing me suffer! <laughs> so our starting position is of course fantastic, absolutely superb, stuck between the Antigonids with a pretty large army nearby, and the Seleucids who have a monster army over here too. Glorious, something very easy to get out of, of course, guys. Very nice indeed. We do start with an army, yes, an army. Not the greatest of armies, of course, but it's a lot better than Paphlagonia's army. But then again, Paphlagonia's army is about as good as two old women with roof tiles, especially against Epirotes, but this army does have some Hippotrophoi and some Epilectoi and some Hoplites, but it's, yeah, it's not fantastic, but at the same time, it's not horrendous. That is what we're holding on to, guys, in this campaign. Here goes, come on, Ptolemies. Yes! <laughs> Let's go. Easy victories, my friend. Easy campaign. <laughs> Why life for? In terms of routes for expansion, I think there's only one thing that we can do, and that is to go straight for the glorious island nation of Chios. We're going to get this guy into the settlement. Not too happy anymore with that very high tax rate. We're going to bring two generals, and we're going to pop over to Chios. Now, whether this is a drawout battle or not, I have no idea. But I'm hoping it is. Yes, neutral faction. I do not care. What do they have? Um, <laughs> not too much, it seems like. Glorious. Well, let's get into the battle, guys. Come on, cavalry. Into the fight. Let's take out this first general. Here we go. Remember, we've got to try and take him out. Looks. Oh, is that him dead? Apparently not. That looked like he died there. I'm not going to lie. How is he alive if he is alive? Are you sure he's not dead, game? There we go. The first general is dead. I've got to be honest. This unit is genuinely the bane of my existence. The Progemoy. Luckily, they're only firing at our archers right now. But Jesus Christ, they are goddamn annoying. Well, here comes their general being a suicidal bastard as usual. Let's go and kill him. Come on. There we go. He got a full face of javelins. Let's try and surround him and kill him. And then all we need to do then is take out 85% of the rest of the army. And we shall be gloriously victorious. The poor Ephebes are going to take a bit of damage. But uh, I don't think it's going to be too bad. There we go. Fully surrounded him now. Let's see, 15 men left. Come on, it's a big general's bodyguard. Let's try and engage these guys so that we can, uh, you know, avoid our cavalry getting flanked. Looks like the progeny are going to go for the attack here too. But uh, there we go. We've got to make sure we kill him. There we go. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Oh, dear. Ha. Huh. I've just realized, won't this make them turn into rebels? Oh, shit. No! That's big brain play. It's big brain play. <laughs> no! No, no, no! No! 
No. That's not that's not what we want, guys. That's really not what we want. Right, Cav. Let's go. Let's go into the Akontistai. And let's surround these men. And I think we will be very much victorious. Ah, well, because we were so close to the edge, we weren't even able to take out all of their men anyway. They managed to escape pretty quickly. Um, but... Does this mean Chios died? Oh no, I hope not. I really do hope not. We shall see. Ah. Uh... <laughs> oh! Luckily, it's absolute trash, but that is incredibly annoying. Overall, though, it's not wasted any time. Um, because we wouldn't have been able to take that anyway on that turn if we'd have killed both generals. We would have still had to have taken them down. Also, didn't want to risk my spy losing him. I want him up in the north to have a look at what's going on. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty fun situation, this campaign, guys. Like for the pain. Yes. And uh, that doesn't look too good. <laughs> oh, God, please. Solutions, please. No, please. Well, let's get on with destroying Chios and taking the settlement. Let's go. Well, this seems to be going relatively well, I've got to say. Although that was the worst charge I think I've ever seen by a general's bodyguard unit. <laughs> but yeah, we are just breaking these boys left, right and center. And now for the big cav fight. I think we will have the edge here. General's bodyguards versus the old Zistaforoi. Not going to be a match for us, even on very hard. Well, cavalry raffle stomp is going very well. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that's a spicy meatball. Well, I think we press the oopsie here. There we go. We're going to get some money from this anyway. And suddenly... We're making money. I class mine as 130 as making money, guys, because of, you know, what we what we had previous was minus 2,800. So what can you do? Um, ooh. I think I think that is the juicy option there as well. And now we can actually upgrade Brian. <laughs> um. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like a great idea. We just don't, we don't have the cash, okay? We don't have the cash. Please, <laughs> please, please, please. Oh, uh, there we go. There was a nation called Priene. They sailed across the oceans blue. And when the Seleucids came and knocking, they said, really, really, fuck you. Well, I think there's only one thing for it, guys. Let's go after Athens. Um, yeah. Uh, there we go. Let's, uh, let's attack them there. They only have a general here. This is weak land, weakly defended. So, can we... We need to save our ships somehow, though. Hide them behind this rock. Oh, it's not a rock. It's an island. <laughs> Sir, there's a city there. Well, we shall hide. They... You know, the AI can't see us if our banner's behind theirs. Look, we're hiding. We're hiding. <laughs> Glorious. Well, that's not good. That is really, really, really not good. Well, let's get more meat for the army, boys. Where there's a whip, there's a way, as the famous saying says. But anyway, let's get into Marina and Ruffle Stomp this fool. Cleo Genies, the stupid. Ruffle stomp them, guys! Ruffle stomp them, men! Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful chaos. Nice. Glorious victory, my friends. Once again, for the Owl of Pride. One thing to mention as well, guys, another reason why attacking Athens is a great idea is the fact that, of course, look at, the, look at their sigil, bro. Look at their icon. The faction icon. They completely copied it from us, didn't they, the bastards? Well, anyway, we, that is another city under our control. Let's get out from hiding our ships and uh, let's leave <laughs> ASAP.
<laughs> Let's go. Are you happy? Just about. Just about. There we go. Straight on the next island. Bang, bit of boom. Yes, that's the way you say it, guys. Bang, bit of boom. Exactly right. Nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> we are praying. We sail across the ocean blue. And when we land, we make sure that we ruffle stump you. Ruffle stump you. Ruffle stump you. Ruffle stump you. Yes. Not the greatest charge. But a ruffle stomping is coming. Come on, boys. Hurry up. Get in the fight, my friends. Get in the fight. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Kill Theodotus of Imbros. Well, another ruffle stomping to please the owl gods. Get out of here, Athens, with your weird blue owl. The golden owl shall reign supreme. Ah, well, where do we go from here, guys? There's not many places that are, you know, that rich, that good. Good. I mean, we've started a little bit of an empire. Unfortunately, we can't get through here because of this goddamn port. <laughs> That's rather annoying. Um, I mean, Pergamon is an option, but they have a pretty big army. But I think we found a juicy uh, little spot over there that might serve our purposes just right. So let's get back home. Let's also maybe retrain our men while we can. And uh, we don't have a lot of money, though, do we? Well, if we cancel that, let's retrain these boys. Get them retrained there. And we shall go and sail for a new target. A Prienian ruffle stomping shall come, my friends. Yeah, so, um, you know that idea of going after Rhodes? Well, I think we found our Cassus Belli. Transgression! Transgression, Rhodes! You disgusting Bastards, that's just the excuse we need. Yes. Thank you very much, Rhodes. Time to go. And a ruffle stomp you. A ruffle stomp you. A ruffle stomp you. Let's have a look. Let's go slow, though. Can we go slowly? Slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. Slowly. Off the boats. And we're stuck. <laughs> Great. Well, we have transgressed against Rhodes now. Oh, where's your army, Rhodes? Don't look like it's too healthy, my friends. <laughs> Very good. That's 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 not good. That really is is not is not good. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. This is fucked. This is not right. This is not cool. This is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. You know, guys, for once, I genuinely did think that one of these challenges might be fun. It might bring some joy into my black heart. But the Seleucids just, they just can't leave me alone. Please, in all of these challenges, the Seleucids, they just got it out for us, guys. Why? Why, Seleucids? Why? <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, Prying doesn't need Prying, right? That's, you know, Prying can be, can be island Prying with its no troops. <laughs> That's the thing, right? <laughs> well, Prying shall be Rhodes. <laughs> Prying shall be Rhodes, my friend. Glorious. <laughs> ah, so Lucids, you do bring me utter misery sometimes. <laughs> Here's a moral quandary for you guys. The AI and a full stack march into a bar. And the AI says to the full stack, Please, I want you to conquer this bar and kill the barman. But what does the AI do? It pulls a small army out of its pocket and it sends him to kill the barman instead. What did the AI do wrong, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. What did the AI do wrong? <laughs> I mean, I there's a chance. There's a chance. It's a small chance. But there's a chance, my friends. And chance, as we all know, is a fine thing, isn't it, my friends? <laughs> what are they doing?
<laughs> oh, the madness has started. Yes, 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 yes. Well, Rhodes, don't look like you're too healthy, my friend. <laughs> Here we go. Well, we finally managed to draw them out of the square for a second, which is good for us. The archers can keep firing. I'm going to get our cavalry if they decide to, to run. Come on, guys. Run, please. That would be good. <laughs> and we're going to get these guys over here, too. What I'm thinking is we send the Ephebes over there to deal with the general's bodyguard. In fact, if these guys want to charge us, that's fine. Come on. Charge, men. Charge. Yep, there they go. Out, off to town square, guys. Off to town square. And we're going to charge them in the arse. Right in the back there. You guys get there. Go, go, go. Off the town square. Off the town square. Go, go, go. Now fight them. Now fight them. Kill them. Well, we'll charge them. They don't have spears, so that should be fine. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Ruffle stomp time. Ruffle stomp time. Wow, look at that. That was a great charge. Back, 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 back. We got our Phoebes over here doing an okay job against these boys. Um... Archers, you could probably get out of there. Would be uh, would be my uh, my recommendation to you. These guys are lunatics. They're gonna go. Oh yeah, they got their, their five javies off. That's not a problem. Let's go then. <laughs> imbeciles, imbeciles, my friends. Ruffle stomp time. Do they really think they can stand against the might of us? Really? Look at that charge. Glorious, glorious charge, my friends. Glorious, glorious charge. Straight into the Rodian. Guys, there we go. Everyone just get after him. He's a fool. Their king is a fool and a, a fool of a took. They go for their little javi throws again, but what is that going to do against the might of the glorious charge? Oh, dear. Well, let's just speed this up. I think we might have won, guys. And a great city is now ours. Rhodes has been ruffle stomped, my friends. Yes! Well, seeing as we're losing Priene very soon, I think, let's do the oopsie once again. And there goes the Colossus of Rhodes. Fantastic. We're also going to get some extra cash from this building. Oh, not quite enough to be as useful as we wanted. So let's pop that in there. That will allow us maybe to build the upgrade next turn. I also want to see. Let's see, guys. Let's see. What is this army? I mean, Chalka Speeders actually, yeah, no, they're going to beat us. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be like two Prodromoi and a, Greeks, a Greek um, um, thingy guy. Yes, a Greek thingy guy. <laughs> Insightful commentary once again from Glorious Red Z there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's go Ruffle Stomp Road some more. Ruffle Stomp, Ruffle Stomp, Ruffle Stomp. And they are plenty happy. <laughs> oh, glorious Prine. What a nation. What a land. What a nation. Let's also, um, rather than getting that, let's actually get a proper unit. Don't think we need to build, like, recruitment hubs over here. But let's build something else instead, like the land clearance. Cheap and going to bring us some extra cash. Can't build there. What do we want to build in roads, though? I mean, uh, there's not much, is that? Hmm. I mean, definitely recruitment, yeah. <laughs> that would be the option here. What can we actually get from this? Most of our units. How are our hoplites? Pretty, 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 pretty bad. <laughs> Yay! And there we have it, guys. Lindos was destroyed. And a glorious victory for us once again. Very nice, indeed. Now, the question is, what do we do from here? I'm not averse to raiding the Seleucids and trying to take their land. Hmm, we do need a bit more of a wider foothold on the mainland, I would say. But, is that something we really want to be doing right now? I don't know, if we can get all the way over here, I don't think that's too bad an option. But we will have to leave Rhodes and Lindos completely by themselves. Now, where is my ship? Where be my ship? It's a little bit stuck. But, uh, yeah. We'll, yeah, it's still stuck. 
There we go. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> let's uh, let's take our guys out of Lindos. How are you? You are happy. You had a happy bunch in Lindos, it would seem. And uh, are we going to be able to get to here? Yes, we are. Oh, yeah, we're going to get stuck, aren't we? Ah. Let's just take this slowly. <laughs> if there are Seleucid ships, things... Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. 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 Oh. That's not good. That's really not good. <gasps> oh. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And finally, the Seleucids have come knocking. I mean, d d defeat's an almost certainty. I would agree with that, but... There are some spicy little meatballs that we can do, so let's see. Can we take them out? Probably not, but it's worth a try, isn't it, my friends? <laughs> well, here we go, guys. All or nothing against these darn fools. Let's go out of the city. Stop them carrying the ram. Run away. We didn't lose a single man there. Very nice. And I'm hoping we can break this Akontistai with a single charge. Mm. <laughs> Not exactly, but it wasn't awful. Just keep going through, guys. Keep going through. And then we're going to charge them again. Looks like they're coming. Let's get them away from the ram. If they get their Chalka Speeders on the ram, that's when we're going to really struggle. So, there we go. Nice little charge. Still shaking. There they go. They're broken. Nice indeed, my friends. Let's bring them towards us. Are they going to come back? How many do they have? 41 men. I mean, the Chalk Speeders are slow, so we can afford to chase them down somewhat. Not a, not a huge amount, though. They will come back, probably. Um, we can't destroy the ram with our cavalry. That's the problem here. But let's go. Let's see if we can ruffle stomp this Greek hoplite unit from both sides. That would be amazing. And just stop them getting to the ram. Are they withdrawing? No, 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 no. <laughs> that was too ambitious. Let's go for the charge here then, guys. Let's also rally the men. There we go. And now let's get a good charge off this way. That'd be fantastic. See what we can do. Bang. Bang. Not the greatest of charges. Not the greatest of charges. Get out. <laughs> get out. Get out, you bastards. Go, go, go. The Chalk Speeders are not happy right now. <laughs> Well, we're going to keep doing this, guys, and trying to bait them away from uh, from their ram, if we can. I mean, it just depends how long we last, honestly, with the amount of troops we have. We've got 42 minutes to do this. <laughs> 42 whole minutes. There we go. We've stopped them getting to their ram. There they go. They braced for the charge. Do we go for another one? I think we do. Rally the troops right in the bark. Right into... Okay, they turned, they turned. They turned right at the last moment. Well done, AI. Touche. <laughs> well, our little tricks and games didn't work, my friends. Prayin is going to be lost here. Ah, not ideal, not ideal, but we put up an admirable fight. We just didn't have enough cavalry to really do any damage to the Greek hoplites, and we died every time they came close, so, uh, yeah, yeah. An unfortunate loss, but a loss nonetheless. Well, I think that's a good ratio anyway. 148 kill for 45 on our side. A glorious defeat, shall we say. <laughs> but we have lost our mother city, the Golden Owl, shall be sad. And there it goes, boys. F's in the chat. F's in the chat. So there goes glorious Prayin. But uh, we'll come back for it one day. Don't you worry, Seleucids. I am slightly worried, though. They seem to be pumping out a lot of troops. That extreme mode's pretty powerful. <laughs> pretty goddamn powerful, isn't it? And I don't really have an, uh, any way for expansion right now. Like, where could we go? If they've got full stacks just hanging around, there is Pergamon. But, again, gonna have a big army. Gonna be slightly scary. The Seleucid land up here looks rather juicy, but this full stack can march normally quite far. They don't have a general attached to them. This one can march miles. 
So what do we do? We've got no garrisons in any of the cities right now. Well, I'm going to leave this guy... Actually... Yeah, I'm going to leave this guy behind because if our generals die, then we lose the campaign. Oh, it's a real tough one. Let's come and have a look at Pergamon then. What have they got there? No, that's a Kizikus army. That's another place we could go. But unfortunately, our ship, which is here, can actually get through there <laughs> because of the Seleucids. Ah, this is tough times, tough times. I mean, Crete is always an option. Always a juicy little option, I've got to say. Um, but don't be scared, guys. We shall look for further afield. Potentially, Athens would be a good option, too. Whether they have a big army or not, though, is another question, because there's a good chance they have a pretty decently sized army. Can we get off there? Let's go slow, then. Wherever we go, we need to get dropped off. That's the question. That's the thing. We need to be able to be dropped off. How big is Athens' army, though? That's the question. Not even big. Yes. Yes. That's a juicy little meatball there, my friends. <laughs> Glorious prying, sailing the ocean blue. Whether you've got a city or a town, will ruffle stomp you. Well, well, this is this is really bad. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, we just weren't close enough. Oh, the Seleucids are just the bane of my life. I'll get you, bitch. Well, AI, it's uh, pleasing to note that you are as dumb <laughs> as always. You've got two armies here, bro. And you're just going to let us kill you. I mean, <laughs> you do have Epilectoi, which is slightly scary, but... <laughs> Thank you, Athens. Thank you, my friends. Well, we've got atmospheric music. We've got atmospheric lighting. Look at this. Beautiful, my friends. And we've got the last city of those owl pretenders in Athens. These fools shall die. Well, here we go then. Baited them off the square once again. Let's get them engaged in combat. And then we shall have a look for some juicy meatballs. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Get in there. Let's go. Everyone in. Everybody in. There we go. They have engaged in combat now. Fantastic. Where is the cavalry? Let's go. Straight in the back of those fools. Just to hold them in place. While these guys come across. Same with the Phoebes over here too. There they go. They seem to be running a bit rampant. But uh, yeah, you guys now get engaged. Go, go, go. Engage them. And then... Victory will be ours, my friends. Victory will be ours. Got to remember, though, that it is Epilectoi, so it's going to be very difficult to beat in combat. These guys can just get here. Fire at the Epilectoi, my friends. Same with you. If you can fire at the Epilectoi, that would be amazing. And then our Epilectoi can just kind of block the way. That would be glorious. And I think we just need to wait two minutes, guys. <laughs> the AI being clever once again. Very good. That's what we like to see. There's a few Javis going in. One minute 30. This poor Epilecto. You're going to do a lot of damage to us. But uh, overall, not too bad. Not too bad. There we go. We're absolutely shredding them, actually. Can't let that guy get to the, get to the town square. Kill him. There we go. <laughs> yes. Ooh, tripped up by his own horse. Glorious victory. We did lose more men than we uh, killed. But Athens is now ours. And we are the true owly boys in the world. And you know what the price for greatness is, my friends? The price for stealing our moniker. It is to do the double oopsie. Oh, dearie, dearie me, Athens. Poor, poor Athens. So sad to see you go. <laughs> you fools. Yes, 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 yes. I didn't realize that silver mines. Very nice. We've got the Acropolis too. Very good indeed. That will also allow us to recruit some 
troops, which we need to do, and some ships, which we double need to do, <laughs> don't we? Uh, and maybe build some more in some of these areas, like some communal farming, glorious, and anything else in Imbros? Let's have a look. Potentially the city barracks, but we are only level one recruitment right now, so is that really going to make a difference? Probably not, so let's get the sewers in Dead. You were building. You do actually have the ability to recruit now. Glorious. But let's uh, pop that in there. And let's see. What do we want to build in Athens itself? Oh, the recruitment hub. Glorious. Well, guys. I think we've asserted ourselves. And I think we have survived at this point. You know, we've gone from a one province miner to two, three, five, six provinces. Doesn't seem like a lot. But when two of those provinces are Rhodes and Athens, and of course, the glorious island nation of Chios, <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> then I think we can say that we have survived. So if you do want part two, guys, 100 likes. And do remember, if you set up a membership on the channel, you will gain access to this save so that you can play from here if you want to completely up to you well anyway guys uh, thank you very much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you all again on the next video